Yamamoto Midori visited her hometown Hiroshima in May. This 69 year old woman is a second generation atomic bomb survivor. One of the objectives of her trip was to register her mother's photograph at the Hiroshima National Peace Memorial Hall for atomic bomb victims. The hall keeps the names and portraits of those who have died as a result of the 1945 atomic bombing of Hiroshima. Yamamoto's mother, Suzuki Ikue, passed away in March at age 95. <laughs> This year marks the 78th anniversary of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In recent years, about 9,000 hibakusha or atomic bomb survivors have been passing away annually. Yamamoto started living with her mother in Kanagawa Prefecture, southwest of Tokyo, about five years ago. Her husband had passed away and their children had moved out by then. She came to pay attention to her mother's atomic bomb experience. Suzuki was born in the town of Sera in Hiroshima Prefecture. When she was 17, she went to study at a nursing school in the city of Hiroshima. The following year, the atomic bomb was dropped there. She was talking with her friend at the hospital dormitory about 1.5 kilometers from the hypocenter. <laughs> Suzuki crawled out of the rubble and searched for her friend Higashi Shizue amid blazing fire. But she never managed to find her. Yamamoto and her mother visited Hiroshima on the atomic bomb anniversary last year. This was their last trip together. No one knows what separated their fates. Suzuki spent most of her life silently bearing the burden of surviving while her friend didn't. It was only recently that she started speaking out about that day and her daughter has promised to take over her recently found mission. Suzuki passed away on March 4th. For her memorial portrait, Yamamoto chose a photo of her mother when she was attending nursing school. Yamamoto still prepares meals for her late mother because she feels lonely eating by herself. While in Hiroshima, Yamamoto also visited the Peace Memorial Museum. Her last visit here was about 30 years ago. She wanted to see what happened beneath the mushroom cloud to help her better convey her mother's experience to others. Another place she stopped at was a memorial park of the Hiroshima Red Cross Hospital and Atomic Bomb Survivors Hospital. This was where her mother saw the flash of light from the atomic bomb. A monument lists the names of more than 100 people who died in the blast here. Her mother's friend, Higashi, is among them. 
母も行きましたので東さん向こうで一緒にね楽しく過ごしてください今年そちらに行きました After losing her mother, Yamamoto says she can now understand the sorrow she felt in parting with her friend. There was another place to go to in Hiroshima so she can learn more about Hibakusha. Yamamoto paid a call on Tsushima Yoshie, a 92 year old atomic bomb survivor. Tsushima was 14 when she experienced the atomic bomb. She was near Hiroshima Station walking to school with another student. For seven decades, Tsushima kept wondering what happened to her schoolmate. It was only several years ago that she found out the student had also survived the war. でもお聞きするとうちの母ともちょっと似たようなねお友達がね,ねなかなかそうお母様はどういう辛い思いをしてこられたんじゃないかと思うんですけれどやっぱりそういう身内の人が話す方が聞く人も身に迫るものがあるんじゃないかと思います。Yamamoto returned to the memorial hall where she registered her mother's photo. The record will be kept here as long as the facility remains in existence. Yamamoto's week long stay in Hiroshima came to a close. あの経験はこれからの人たちにさせちゃいけないっていうそのバトンタッチを受けたのでその思いを、うん、次に伝えていきたいなってしっかりそう今誓いました。Her visit to Hiroshima deepened her determination to give meaning to the years-long sorrow and suffering that her mother felt. <音楽>